Hello, um, my name is Liam Ring. I'm Sustainability Change Manager for ESB Group. Um, my name is Paul Cahill. I'm Chairman of the Wilton Sustainability Committee for ESB Networks here in Cork. Um, now, back in 2008, ESB embarked upon a particular sustainability strategy, and um, there were some significant targets set at the time. Most notably, um, a 30% reduction in carbon emissions by 2012, a 50% reduction in carbon emissions by 2020, on the road to becoming net carbon neutral by 2035. Um, now, to underpin and to support the strategy at the time, um, we also embarked upon an internal sustainability programme whereby we looked at our internal carbon emissions and we also set an equally stretching target of 30% in respect of our internal carbon footprint. So we're here in Wilton at the moment and um, Wilton has a particularly vibrant sustainability improvement plan and, um, and we're, we're, we're delighted to welcome you here just maybe to showcase some of the events that we have um, underway at the moment. Here in Wilton we have a committee of about 12 staff uh, we meet on a regular basis, uh, we brainstorm, we come up with various ideas. Some of the projects we have taken on here in Wilton have been around energy management of the building, waste management in the yard, uh, heat conservation, water conservation. Uh, to name them all, there's too many. If you'd like to maybe walk around the building with me, I might show some of them to you on the way around. One of the first schemes we introduced was our company bike scheme where we introduced two bikes that staff can use for all sorts of reasons, um, going to local meetings, uh, trip up to the shopping centre at lunchtime, whatever people want to do. With the ESB as a company involved in the rollout of electric vehicles in Ireland, we have introduced parking spaces, dedicated spaces for electric vehicles and hybrids. So we have an inducement here in Wilson, uh, the closest parking to the uh, building outside uh, disabled parking is dedicated now to electric vehicles or hybrids, as you can see we have two here today. As part of our energy reduction measures we have introduced low energy lighting and lead lighting around the building, two examples here. Uh, you can see we have signs put up as well just to show our staff what we're doing. Energy redu reduction just in this corner here we reduced uh, from 126 watts down to 25 watts. Uh, water came into our attention. We have introduced as part of our water conservation measures push taps in all our taps around the building. Uh, as well as that we have introduced 1 kilowatt uh, high pressure hand dryers instead of 2 kilowatt heated dryers that you would normally find. We are here at our recycling facility at the end of the Wilton Yard. We have set up our facilities in as user friendly a uh, way as possible. We have recently introduced smaller wheelie bins instead of a big 20 ton general waste skip. Uh, where we are encouraging staff to recycle everything from dry mixed recyclables, paper, general waste on these three here, compost for lunches for some of the food waste around the place, cardboard. We have a compacting facility here for larger amounts of cardboard in the skip here. We have uh, scrap metal, there's two skips there for scrap metal. We have one here behind for timber and just across the way, se separately, we have a skip for creosoted poles which uh, have to be recycled separately. This building here is known as our city group building. Uh, it has had challenges with the heating in the building for many years. One side faces north, the other side faces south. It's fully heated by storage heating. The northern side is perfect for storage heating, it's always warm. This side here Late, late winter, early summer, uh, when the sun comes out, the heating is still on. The sun comes through the windows and heats it up very quickly. People are opening the windows to get rid of the heat. So we're looking at changing the heating and the side of the building, putting in high efficiency oil filled electric radiators in their place. We have been trialling the use of lead lighting as flood lighting around our yard. We have four masts around the yard. Uh, six kilowatts each. This one behind me, we've converted the lead lighting 1.2 kilowatt of lighting instead of six uh, when you consider they're on for 14 hours a day in the middle of winter. Quite a saving.
So there are some of our initiatives that we've been doing around the building complex here in Wilton. Um, I'm just coming in from the outside now and these are some of our committee members who have been the, um, the heart and the soul of everything that has been going on here in Wilton. So thank you very much for the award and thanks to all my committee here for all the work they have done and for helping us achieve what we have done over the last two years. Thank you very much.